The passage suggests that Carnell believes Bain on which of the following attitudes about the relationship between the private and public spheres. So what was her attitude between these two spheres? We go back, we scan through the passage, and we get to line 42 or so. And then there you'll see the words public, private sphere. So it says here, and I'm actually going to start on line 39, but those words itself, public, private, appear later. So moreover, again line 39, moreover, according to Carnell, Bain questioned the view promulgated by monarchists for dramatic tragedies such as dragons, that the envisioned public political ideal, passive obedience to the nation's king, ought to be married mirrored in the private sphere, with family members wholly obedient to a man head of, as head of the household. And so here, or to a male head of household. So here, the idea is what? There's a parallel. Here's the normal public sphere. You have the king. There's the king. King's at the top. The private sphere. Or sorry, the public sphere. And then over here, we have the private sphere. And up, oh, there is the man. There's my man, head of the household. Below the man, women and children, just as below the king's subjects. And so according to Dryden, these two should parallel each other. And in contrast, we have Bain. And so therefore, we can say, well, Bain believed that the private sphere should not mirror, should not parallel the public sphere in terms of king on top or in terms of the hierarchy. And just like that, we get to answer choice B. The structure of the private sphere should not replicate the hierarchical order of the public sphere.